There is no doubt that dopamine plays a central role in mediating motivated behaviors, but their role is far from simple. Our work characterizes a neural circuit demonstrating how dopamine can signal aversive events in addition to reward. Dopamine is primarily produced in the midbrain in the substantia nigra and ventral tegmental area, or VTA for short. From here, dopamine is delivered to many regions throughout the brain. There is strong evidence demonstrating that dopamine cells in the VTA are excited by rewarding events and inhibited by aversive events. Furthermore, dopamine neurons are known to signal reward prediction, meaning that in addition to signaling rewarding events themselves, dopamine can signal cues that predict a rewarding event in the future. However, it remains unclear whether all VTA dopamine neurons, independent of where they project within the brain, serve this single function. Indeed, studies in primates and rodents have found that there are subpopulations of dopamine neurons that are excited by aversive events. Importantly, dopamine neurons do not stand alone. They are embedded within neural circuits of the brain, their function characterized by the information they receive and the regions they send information to. Currently, the circuits through which dopamine signals positive and negative motivational stimuli is not completely understood. In this study, we were interested in two subpopulations of dopamine neurons that are known to have distinct electrical and physiological properties. Specifically, we looked at dopamine neurons that originate in the VTA and project to the ventral medial nucleus accumbens and compared them to dopamine neurons that project to the lateral nucleus accumbens. We used an optical imaging technique to record from axon terminals of dopamine neurons projecting to these brain areas in mice while they received a mild foot shock as well as a tone that predicted this foot shock. What we found is that lateral projecting dopamine neurons responded traditionally. That is, they were inhibited by both the aversive event, the mild shock, as well as the shock predicting cue, the tone. In contrast, the ventral medial projecting dopamine neurons responded opposite to what was expected. That is, they were excited by both the shock and the shock predicting tone. Interestingly, when we recorded in these same brain regions during a reward learning task, we found that only the lateral nucleus accumbens projecting neurons signaled the reward predicting cue. Thus, we identified two parallel dopamine circuits that signal opposite valence, both originating in the VTA. This discovery led us to ask, what kinds of neurons are sending information to these aversion-coding dopamine cells? To dissect the neural circuit that the aversion-coding dopamine neurons are embedded in, we used ex vivo slice electrophysiology, rabies tracing, and optogenetics. We found that the observed effects were mediated by glutamatergic inputs from the lateral hypothalamus. We show that if we remove the influence of glutamate neurons in the lateral hypothalamus, the dopamine neurons projecting to the ventral medial nucleus accumbens no longer signal the shock predicting cue. That led us to conclude that the lateral hypothalamus is an important teaching signal for these neurons to learn about aversion predicting signals. Altogether, our work contributes to a growing body of evidence demonstrating that the role of dopamine in the brain is complex and the type of information that a dopamine molecule or neuron encodes depends on the neural circuit in which it participates.